in this video, we are going to move all or copy, reflect all of the port side bond drawings onto the starboard side. as well as to fill in the spaces that will occur on the starboard side due to the lack and symmetry of cutouts. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You want to reflect everything except for the top and bottom laundrons because top and bottom laundrons are already there. They're not being reflected anywhere. And then here we have the door on the port side and only a window on the starboard side. So we'll have to come back and fill in those gaps. So if you only have half of the radial extrusions here, um, you can just reflect them over to the other side. I, in the previous videos I mentioned just make and go 360 degrees um, for situations like this. But no harm, no foul. You can just reflect them same, do it the same result. So long as your laundrons are spaced symmetrically with respect to the XC plane. And now I created an intersection on the starboard side to get all the new guides. And I kept all the sub-elements, which are the, the sub-elements come from when you have pieces that get split by the cutouts. And I mentioned in one of the previous videos about disassembling the split ones. So you go split with all the domains, you get all these curves, and it's a good practice to put them in a geometrical set labeled after whatever the intersect was that you disassembled. So that one was 148, this one's 149. So I'll take those three curves for 149 and put them in a, a geometrical set. And now I'm intersecting the guidelines with the frame guides to get points to follow the same procedure that we did before when creating laundrons, where we'll have the axis systems that we need to extrude. And we'll just need to do this for the laundrons that are different because of the difference in cutouts. And I missed one of the guides here, so I'm going to add that in. 
and then you can open up the intersect that you made before the multi multi result output and then just add that to one of the intersecting elements and that incorporates it into the same output as you had before instead of just adding a new intersection And now making the axes systems, same as before, x is parallel to the Landron guide, y is tangent to the, or I'm sorry, x is tangent to the Landron guide, y is tangent to the frame guide, z points into the aircraft. And x goes aft. and transforming axis to axis transformation of the same cross section as before. And then we can do a volume extrusion, swept volume. Yeah, not a volume extrusion, a swept volume. I think, pardon, I think in one of the previous videos I said volume extrusion, but it's really the swept volume. I showed, I showed what I meant. Although I don't think I said what I showed. So now some other there's some overlap and we can just delete the reflections that we don't want or hide them. So there we have all the Londrons for the entire aircraft.